Dr. Ryan. Now today we're going to be looking at leadership lessons from 1 Samuel chapter 4 in the Old Testament. We're going to be diving into the leadership lessons found in this chapter and we're going to explore the pivotal moments in this book as a whole that highlight the impact of spiritual neglect, misuse of sacred things, and the crucial role of integrity and accountability in leadership. Fundamental building blocks for us to be more effective leaders. The first thing we want to look at is the consequences of neglecting spiritual responsibility. In this chapter, the Israelites go into battle against the Philistines, but suffer a significant defeat. In their desperation, they decide to bring the Ark of the Covenant from Shiloh to the battlefield, hoping it will ensure their victory. This is a bad move. Eli's sons, Hophni and Phinehas, accompany the Ark. However, despite their actions, Israel suffers an even greater defeat and the ark is captured. Now, this part of the narrative highlights the critical leadership les lesson about the dangers of neglecting our personal responsibility. Eli was the high priest and his sons, who were priests themselves, had significant spiritual roles, but they failed to live up to their responsibilities. Their corrupt behavior and a total disregard for the sacred had severe repercussions for the entire nation of Israel. For, le for leaders today, like us, this underscores the importance of maintaining ethical and moral standards, especially when entrusted with responsibilities that impact others. Neglecting these duties can lead to far-reaching negative consequences, both for us and for the people that we interact with in our life. Now, the second thing we want to look at is the dangers of misusing the sacred. So you see, the Israelites' decision to bring the Ark of the Covenant into battle reveals their total misunderstanding and misuse of the sacred. They viewed the Ark as a mere kind of symbol that could guarantee their success rather than respecting it as God's presence and power with his people. This critical miscalculation led to their defeat and the Ark's capture by the Philistines. <laughs> this scenario teaches us the critical lesson about the dangers of misusing and misunderstanding the sacred and the things that they represent. We should recognize that true power and influence come from our integrity and our authenticity from our personal lives, not the outward symbols and positions. This was their critical error, and it led to a loss of credibility with them and a failure. True leadership is grounded in understanding and respecting the deeper significance of the sacred, our integrity, our authenticity, and letting that be our foundation. And then the last thing, we want to look at the importance of integrity and accountability. Now, the deaths of Eli and his sons following the Ark's capture mark the culmination of their failure to lead with integrity. Integrity is the same thing you are in public that you are in private. Eli's inability to control his sons and their blatant disregard for their duties resulted in divine judgment, impacting not just their lives, but the entire nation. Eli's death upon hearing the news of the Ark's capture symbolizes the tragic end of a leadership that failed to uphold its trust. You see, this narrative, this story, reinforces the importance of these things, basic things, integrity, accountability. Leaders, people in positions, are accountable for their actions and the actions of those that are under their care. Eli's story serves as a warning that ignoring wrongdoing in our life and in the people that are under our care and not reinforcing standards of integrity can lead to disastrous outcomes. Effective leadership requires personal integrity, but also the courage to hold others to the same standard, even taking corrective action when it's necessary. This chapter gives us these lessons, and they remain relevant today. We're not to neglect our spiritual and ethical responsibilities. We want to avoid misusing and misunderstanding the sacred. And we want to hold ourselves and the people that we work with to the highest levels of integrity. These lessons are essential if you're going to build trust with the people that you interact with in your life on a daily basis.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, do me a favor, please hit the like button, subscribe to stay updated with new content, and drop a comment below. Your feedback helps us grow and brings us more valuable insights for the future. Listen, if you'd like to connect with me directly uh, or discuss more about these lessons, you can reach out to me directly in email at rideforwater at gmail.com, R-I-D-E for water at gmail.com. Lastly, stay stoked on Jesus, and I'll see you next time.